Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I am going to discuss the topic behavior of gases from the chapter kinetic theory of gases. Okay, so now basically gases, the properties of gases are quite easier to understand in comparison to solids and liquids because here in gases, the molecules, they are, they have wide separation. Okay, so they interact only when there is a collision, otherwise their interaction is not much. Okay, so Based on this, the gases at low pressure and high temperature, they follow a relation PV is equal to KT. Okay, this is the condition followed where for gases at low pressure and high temperature. Okay, now this PV equal to KT in this relation, this K is constant. Okay, this K is constant. P is the pressure, P is pressure, V is volume and more importantly this T is temperature and it should be in Kelvin. Okay and this K is though it is constant but it varies with volume. Okay this K varies with volume and number of molecules. If it varies with volume, that means it also varies with number of molecules. So this K, it is directly proportional to the number of molecules. N is the number of molecules. Number of molecules. So since K is directly proportional to number of molecules, if I remove this proportionality symbol, I will get a constant that is the Boltzmann constant. So this K is equal to KB times N, where this KB is the Boltzmann constant. Boltzmann constant and the value of this KB is 1.38 into 10 power minus 23 joule per Kelvin. So if I substitute this constant value of this K over here, okay, so what do I get? I get PV is equal to KB Boltzmann constant multiplied by number of molecules into T. Okay. Now this implies PV by N into T is equal to constant that is the Boltzmann constant. Okay. So at two states 1 and 2 suppose P1 V1 by N1 T1 it will be equal to P2 V2 by N2 N2 T2 and that is equal to KB. Okay, so these are for two states, state 1 and state 2. Now from this relation we can also conclude that suppose you have two gases and uh, both the gases have same value of pressure, volume and temperature. Okay, now in case this PVT, PVT, so these quantities if they are equal then in that case the number of molecules will also be equal. Avogadro's hypothesis number of molecules per unit volume is same for all gases at same temperature and pressure. Okay. You must also know that uh, 22.4 liters of any gas will have 6.023 into 10 power 23 molecules that is the Avogadro's number and uh, mass of 22.4 liter of any gas it will be equal to the molecular weight in grams at standard temperature pressure STP and that is 273 Kelvin temperature and pressure is 1 atmosphere and this molecular weight in gram at STP and this is the equivalent of 1 mole. Next let us see the various form of perfect gas equation. Perfect gas equation. Okay. The most common form is this PV is equal to mu r t. Okay. Now this t must be in Kelvin. T must be in Kelvin. This mu is the number of moles. Number of moles. Okay. And this R is the gas constant and R is equal to Avogadro's number multiplied by the Boltzmann constant. Okay. This mu, the number of moles, it is equal to the ratio of mass of gas M divided by the molar mass M0. 
okay and it is also equal to the total number of molecules divided by the Avogadro's number okay so in that case I can write this PV so mu R can be replaced as Na into KB so this is mu times Na into KB into T okay now mu times Na mu times Na is number of molecules so this is PV is equal to N KB into T okay N is the number of molecules now this can also be written as P is equal to N by V KB T so this is number of molecules per unit volume now this is replaced by suppose symbol N where this N denotes small n is the number density number density of molecules number density of molecules that is n is equal to number of molecules per unit volume so in that case this equation becomes p is equal to small n kb into t p is the pressure n is the number density of molecules that is number of molecules per unit volume multiplied by Boltzmann constant into t this t is in Kelvin scale so now this is a graph between PV by mu T versus P okay P is in atmosphere and this PV by mu T is in joule per mole per Kelvin so as you can see see this straight line shows the idle gas behavior okay but for gases we are getting okay this curve at temperature T1 this is the curve at temperature T2 this is the curve at temperature T3 okay now as you can see all the curves these approaches idle behavior for low pressure and high temperature see for this pressure this pressure is very low okay so at this point all the curves they are at this straight line okay so at low pressure and at high temperature so if I see this for this is temperature T1 this is temperature T2 and this is temperature T3 so for T1 is greater than T2 is greater than T3 see when the temperature is T1 it is the highest temperature out of these T3 three temperatures out of these three temperatures T1, T2, T3, T1 is highest so it is approaching the idle gas behavior okay now as the temperature is decreased the gas deviates from the idle gas behavior okay so this is the conclusion from this graph so we know that the equation of state for idle gas is PV is equal to mu RT where mu is the number of moles T is the temperature in Kelvin scale now let us verify this equation okay now for a given gas if you increase the temperature the pressure increases okay so pressure is directly proportional to temperature temperature in Kelvin okay so this is the first observation okay now second observation is if volume and temperature are kept constant okay and number of molecules is increased okay so then the pressure also increases if number of molecules is increased pressure also increases so if number of molecules is increased pressure increases that corresponds to increase in number of moles leading to increase in pressure so when a tire is pumped we are pumping air okay that means we are increasing the number of molecules or the number of moles inside the tire but the volume and uh, this temperature is kept constant okay so when the more air is pumped inside the tire the pressure also increases so this implies this pressure it is proportional to mu the number of moles okay now the other dependence is between pressure and volume okay now as pressure is increased the volume decreases okay so pressure is inversely proportional to volume so now if I combine these three conditions what do I get pressure proportional to mu t by v okay or p is equal to r mu t by v where r is the gas constant okay so this is from this we have pv is equal to mu r t that is the equation state okay so this we have verified